Hi you guys. I am back. It is my one week post-op video and I am so excited to be here to tell you that I am 16.4 pounds down. Yay! It's been one week and uh, I want to tell you about my experiences this week because it's been tough, you know, but at the end of the day, I mean, I'm one week out and I feel great. So it, it was a really short period of time that was tough, honestly. So, how'd it go? <laughs> um, I went to the hospital last Thursday morning, around 9.30, and my surgery was scheduled for 11.30. Those two hours flew by. Uh, a lot of stuff was scheduled, I don't know, they poke and prod and this and that, and then it was time to go. I felt like that went by super fast. I saw my surgeon beforehand, of course. He had done another gastric sleeve right before mine. Um, so I asked him how it went. He was like, oh, it could have been a training video. It went perfectly. So that really reassured me. That was good. And then um, one thing I didn't know, and I don't know if they're all done like this, but they told me that they would be tilting me in the hospital bed to like 45 degrees. So while I was still awake, they like super strapped me down. And, um, and they explained to me that that's why, that the surgery is done almost vertical, which I had no idea. And they strapped me down, and then that was the last thing I remember. And then I woke up that first night in the hospital. I basically just slept a lot. I did not have a lot of pain um, because I was on pain meds in my IV. Wait, can I tell you maybe the best thing about this thing so far? This is where my IV was. I don't know if you can see that spot but it is tiny. There is no bruise here. The IV nurse, who apparently all she does is put in IVs, was amazing. She was like, oh, your veins are so tiny. I was like, ah, oh, IVs. She was like, oh, your veins are so tiny. And she like massaged my hand and like tap and pat. She worked on it for like, I don't know, 10 minutes. And then she did it. And I mean, you know, you feel it going in, but then it didn't hurt. And then when they finally took it out, when I left the hospital, I could not believe like, this is amazing. Anyway, my IV is, uh, is, is my proudest moment so far. Um, so anyway, my first night in the hospital, I basically just slept. I, during the night, you know, they come and they check on you all the time, so you kind of lose track of one's day and one's night, like how much time has passed, but um, that night I was up and walking up and down the halls. I mean, not a lot, maybe like up and down, up and down, but um, I was tired. But I felt okay, and I, I really think it's because they had me on pain meds, of course. And then the next morning, they switched me, instead of having an IV pain med, they switched me to a liquid pain med, and they said, this is the one you're going to go home with, so we want to switch you to this now. Well, that did not go well. Um, that's when I really felt a lot of pain. Um, I guess the dose was too low or whatever, or it was just a bad transition for me, but... I did feel a lot of pain, and I think what I was feeling was gas pain. Honestly, I don't think I've had any incisional pain at all. Um, my incisions, I have four little ones, I'll show you some other time. They have not hurt. I really think it was gas pain. I also had gas X strips, like you guys recommended, those were a wonder. But man, that morning I was like dizzy and nauseous, and it just felt like somebody had kicked me in the gut, like hard, but the like kick moved, which makes me think it was gas pain. So um, I kind of really like begged the nurse to give me the IV meds again. And she said, okay, yeah, but I mean, this is the pain meds you're going home with, so we need to adjust your dose or whatever. In the end, the dose they gave me to go home with of that liquid pain med was higher than what they had given me that one time. So anyway, um, after they gave me the IV pain med again, everything was a-okay, I felt fine. Um, and I walked a lot that day one, I guess, day one after the surgery up and down the halls. And, um, the only thing that was kind of troubling, I guess, was that my blood pressure was really high. Like my blood pressure has never been high and it was like 160, 165 over like a hundred, 110. They kept checking it over and over and over again. And I guess, you know, they were keeping a close eye on it. They didn't do anything about it. And um, and they said it was just because I was in a lot of pain and I guess I was tolerating it well. Um, but that happened. Also, my blood sugar was high. Um, my blood sugar ended up being like 150, 160, but apparently that's not high enough to warrant much attention. They did give me insulin in the IV once. Um, and then they just kept watching it and that was fine. So I've got some little pricks on my fingers, but 
That's no big deal. Oh, they did have to give me um, blood thinner shots in my legs. And I know some of you guys do this, some of you guys don't. But um, they sent me home with two weeks worth of shots to do twice a day, which uh, I'm really glad my mom is here because she's been doing it for me. She's leaving on Sunday, and I don't know that I'm going to be able to do it to myself. I haven't tried, and I'm really nervous about it. But I have to do twice a day. It's little needles. It really doesn't hurt. Just like the idea of injecting myself is kind of strange. Uh, uh. Um, so... I have a lot of bruises on my legs because it's like blood thinner and so it causes you to bruise and so um, it's little bruises but on the injection side so like both of my legs and the thighs are uh, are pretty bruised but those didn't hurt either. So um, they really didn't force me to eat or drink and I was not hungry uh, or thirsty at all. I remember thinking that some of you guys were like oh I have to eat all this and I really can't. They didn't make me, which I thought was kind of strange. The only thing I did have to ingest was a multivitamin, a chewable multi. And maybe I didn't chew it well enough, or maybe it was just because it was like the, literally the first thing that went in my stomach, but that felt like, sat like a rock. That was the first day in the hospital. Um, and then I just like slept a lot, a lot, a lot. Slept, slept, slept. Walked, walked, walked. Like as soon as I would wake up, I'd go pee. Wait, I even pooped like from day one. I've been pooping every day. Um, I mean, obviously, just a little, sorry for the TMI, but um, that hasn't been an issue at all. I haven't had any gas reflux, or um, acid reflux, so that's been good. Um, gas pain has come and gone, you know, but like, uh, gas X strips really help, and I've just been walking a lot. So in the hospital, it felt like I was there for a long time, it really it was only a day, but um, I would sleep for like three or four hours, wake up, walk a few laps in the hall, sleep for three or four hours, walk and that was it and then they let me go home at like two or three the next day so um so that was good and then I came home and slept a lot and uh, I guess my mom was really good about making me walk a lot so uh, first we were walking outside just kind of in the parking lot of my apartment complex but then it got really really cold so she started taking me to stores nearby to walk around and uh, I mean really day two post-op day three we were at the mall, we were at Michael's, we were at the grocery store, we were at Walmart. Even if it was just for 30 minutes, we'd go walk around, come home and sleep. So um, I really can't thank her enough for making me walk because I think that's been a big part of my speedy recovery. I'm aware that like my recovery has been very speedy and I, I think, I guess, I, I, I don't know why, but I guess it's because I've been walking a lot. Um, so my surgeon has a one week uh, clear liquid diet post-op, so I don't start protein shakes until, uh, actually today is a week, but tomorrow morning I have my one week follow up with the surgeon. So presumably he's going to clear me to start protein shakes and then I'll do three weeks of only protein shakes, hopefully starting tomorrow. But in this week, it's only been clear liquids and I thought I would, uh, get tired of that, but I haven't. I mean, the first few days it was tough. Um, my mom would, uh, you know, this little, um, let me show you. Hang on. You know these little cups that like, um, uh, you know those little cups that like uh, Dayquil comes in? Well, we got a bunch of these from the hospital and each one of these is one ounce. So the first couple of days she would put like a tray and this is my pain medicine, which I ended up, I haven't taken it in like two days at this point. But she would make a little tray of little waters and I would just like take a water and sip on it. It's like having a little shot glass or whatever. But this is how she would count how many waters I had, how many ounces of water I had um, since I got home from the hospital. So. So, uh, maybe day one, day two, day three post-op, I only got to maybe like the mid-30s of ounces of water. Uh, day four, I was determined I like was not going to sleep at night until I had gotten to uh, 48. Because I said 48 to 64, right? So I stayed up. It was literally like 11.45. In my mind, like midnight was a cutoff. It's like, I have to drink these waters. So like sipping, sipping, sipping constantly. And then... Um, on day five, I woke up and like, I felt amazing. Like something like a light switch, like something just changed. I don't know. And I felt really good. And now I can just like drink water basically normally. So those first couple of days, um, post-op, I was maybe getting 30, 40 ounces, but then, um, now I'm getting 50, no, really I'm getting 60, 70 plus. Today, so far I've gotten 66. Yesterday, I think I went to bed at like 78. So as far as water, that has been no problem. Um, I've been eating Jello, chicken broth. Okay, so 
Um, my mom's visiting and she hasn't had time to cook or whatever. She's taking care of me and I haven't cooked for her. So we went to Panera the other day and you know, maybe Panera is probably maybe the worst place to go because everything like smells amazing. But uh, I got their chicken noodle soup, which is a low fat chicken noodle soup. And I asked them for broth only, which I had never done. I didn't know if they would do it, but they did. They strained it for me, which was amazing because it tasted so good. And it's a cup and a half, which is 12 ounces. And uh, we sat in Panera for like an hour and a half while I drank my cup and a half of soup and it tasted so good. So I've had a water, Powerade Zero, Vitamin Water Zero, sugar-free Jello, the chicken broth, we went back to Panera twice. Um, and, uh, and, and it's been fine. I have not been hungry. How weird is that? Like, am I ever going to be hungry again? I don't know. So, um, I've been doing that and it's been fine. Now, I guess I have what you call head hunger because like, I really just want to bite into a sandwich. You guys, like, I just want something in my mouth. Uh, that's not liquid. So the jello kind of helps with that. But, um, I don't actually feel hungry, which is the weirdest thing. So tomorrow, I guess I'm going to start protein shakes and we'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to give you an update. I am 16.4 pounds down. But anyway, so that's my week one. If you have any questions, I'm happy to talk about it. And um, it's been great. I'm feeling great. I went back to work today and I thought it I might get tired, you know, because I had gotten used to sleeping during the day, but I was fine. I was distracted, you know, which was good. I even went for a walk. I have a group of like running friends. We usually just walk and we, uh, we walked a mile at lunch, which was great. Uh, the only thing is that I've been kind of like hot and cold, hot and cold. And today I was really, really cold all day, freezing. I mean, it's cold outside, but I don't know if it's like because of lost weight or hormonal changes or whatever, if it was just like legitimately cold in the building. I don't know. Um, but that was good and oh yeah the only other thing is that during the day sometimes I would get kind of lightheaded and um, I was kind of worried about that because I, I sit at a desk I sit at a computer all day and I thought maybe if I'm like focused all day long on a computer screen I might get lightheaded but I didn't that has passed I haven't taken the pain medicine in a couple days so that's good and uh, all in all I had a great day so this is my one week post-op if you have any questions please ask them below I'm happy to talk to you about it this experience has been fantastic and I will talk to you soon. Bye.